It seems like the whole world is after Job Morant. <sighs> let's let's really break down the real because I just seen something that was slightly disappointing, but I get the premise. And everybody who reacted to it was mad or angry, upset. I get it. But let's get into it. Before John Morant's whirlwind of a weekend reached a critical climax, Omani Jones, a tenured on-air personality at ESPN and host of Game Theory on ESPN, had an introspective discussion about Memphis Grizzlies star John Morant and his recent wave of controversies during his weekly podcast, The Right Time with Bomani Jones. In a segment regarding Jaws alleged gun incident, Bomani and his frequent collaborator at ESPN, Dominique Foxworth, went back and forth in an attempt to dissect the influence of John Morant's parents and close friends while also questioning his decision-making in the time of the confrontation. The thought-provoking topic prompted Bomani Jones to suggest that the Memphis Grizzlies enlist the help of perhaps one of their greatest players of all time, retired player Zach Randolph, commonly known to NBA fans as Zebo. As Bomani dived further into this assertion, he cautioned that John Morant's path could lead him to a fate similar to the late young Dolph if he doesn't make some changes to his social circle, environment, and behavioral patterns in his life. I say this somewhat jokingly, but I honestly think y'all ain't called Zebo, said Bomani. I'm talking about the Grizzlies. Yeah, I know, responded Dominique Foxworth. If there's anybody... That it seems very clearly this young man needs to talk to to understand what his life is in is Zebo. Bomani answered. You can go look it up on Zebo. I'll let you go find out the particulars of it. But in the end, Zebo became a model citizen, retired Jersey, and a community stalwart. All of this stuff also, Zebo was all of it. John Morant does not appear to be any of it. But Zebo's going to explain to him, hey man, the way you kicking it, that ain't necessarily going to end well. I will say this. I don't think I'm being dramatic. Boy, they shot young Dolph outside the cookie store. Like, you out here in Memphis amongst regular people with guns, rolling up with 9, 10, 11 people, rolling up to go handle something? I don't know why it's like that for the cats like Ja that they brought the last gun. You think you're the only person out here with a gun? Devil trying to pull me like a hamster. Finesse in the game with my pimp game. I'm ready to go like a bell ring. I put my faith in God like it ought to be. Uh, Bomani, what what part of Memphis does John Morant claim exactly? All right. I think how he meant to say that is Memphis is a city that will get you. If they want to, if you act on like that, part of the problems with a lot of people is they don't understand what their money could do or what their money could bring. So in the instance of John Morant, let's just keep it authentic like this. You don't have to go to the hoods. Put some people in the hoods that can give out the stuff you need to give, drop a tape, do a FaceTime call, put on a Jumbotron and all that and everything. Make up an excuse while you're there. You don't have to be in the trenches to help the trenches. That's one of the worst things you can do. See anybody who tried to help their hood that died in their hood. I wouldn't know. So I, I get it, but I'm going to be honest with you. Comparing him to Young Dolph is completely out. Because one thing is for certain, two things is for sure. The NBA provides security. Now, what I think is going to happen is, I think John Morant is going to be suspended for the rest of the regular season. He can come back in the playoffs. Maybe miss a game or two. That's what I believe. That's what I believe. But I think one of the bigger things we have to take into effect, into account, because only 23, I get it. I get it. We got to hit him over the head and, and the scary tactics and stuff like that. And I seen y'all talking about Oh, that, well, I seen the trolls and everybody talking about, oh, y'all, Nike would get rid of Kyrie, but they keep your man's uh, John Morant. Those are two different complete circumstances. So let's not push that one if we can. But here's the biggest thing that I need everybody to understand. It's not over. He got a lot of growing to do. This is one of the best and worst days to ever happen to him. Hopefully the laws don't get involved. Colorado PD is looking into it and everything like that. And I need you cats who will not give him no responsibility. Ergo, a Paul Pierce saying, I used to have my gun on you. You was hanging around gangbangers. 
You approached gang bangers. Y'all got into it with gang bangers. You was acting like a gang banger. You wasn't a target. You targeted people. You better tell that story the right way, but you won't. And on top of that, we never knew you had it on you. That's the difference. Nobody's telling him, hey, bro, you can't rock with it. We said, why are you showing it in the club at 5 a.m. in Colorado? He wasn't in Memphis. He wasn't at home. And for anybody who was, well, he just got a gun in the club and all that. Bro, when you go to clubs and stuff like that, they... They patch it down so you don't have a gun in there. When a superstar comes in there, NBA, rapper, and all that, they don't pat them down because they're not the people who are typically going to cause a ruckus and get to shoot and everything like that. So please note and know that. If you disagree, you disagree. It is what it is. But because ain't no little boy, because ain't no fully developed grown man like that, he got a lot of money and a lot of influence, and simply this was just a mistake. But he was obviously drunk as a skunk. So... After this, we'll move off of this. But, bro, come on, man. My man ain't going to end up like Young Dolph. You got to kick that and spin that a different way. And I don't think he meant it the way that it's coming off, but it's coming off pretty bad. It ain't going to end like Young Dolph. It's going to end up in handcuffs if he keeps continuing. But I don't feel like he's going to do that stuff. But y'all let me know y'all thoughts on this one. If you hated it, leave a like and tell me why you hated it. We are literally only 50 subscribers away from 132K. So join the Visionaries today. With the Visionaries, we on our way to 200K. I'm thinking I might go ahead and do another PS5 giveaway. Y'all let me know. We'll think about that one.